Okay, so we're setting up a 5,000 ramp test for a 5,000 FX. All models are essentially the same. Simply go new run, select ramp. I want to default this to five miles per hour per second. I, start, I want to start the run or the ramp the minute I press the go button, so that's enabled. I go next. I'm going to do gear ratio. I'll use the last ratio that was in there. Now, I always want to stabilize a ramp test first to get the PID to get the stabilization done. A five second time is good, so I want that checked. I'll go finish, and you can just watch the gauges and watch the ramp test as it uh, performs in a 5,000. It's going to be a 20 second long run. It was about 20 seconds long. Now, at the beginning, you saw the PID kind of oscillate a little bit, but as you can see, they're very repeatable within 0.2 miles per hour. Um, later, I'll put a 700 horsepower vehicle on, and it will be the same thing. But if you want to change the, the ramp rates or the PID loop configuration, you go into here, and you make sure update PID feedback cons is on, and the ramp is done with the acceleration, which is the derivative of speed over time, so you'll change these. The PMEI coefficient. If it comes on too strong, lower the P. If you'd like the stabilization time to increase, increase I. But start with the default settings at first. Um, for newer systems, it's already pre-configured, so you shouldn't have to touch any of this. Well, that's it. Bye-bye.